Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple and secure do-it-yourself Bitcoin paper wallet. You'll be able to create this wallet and as many wallets as you want to. I'll show you how to deposit Bitcoin into the wallet and then of course how to withdraw the Bitcoin out of the wallet and spend that money. In the following videos I'll show you how to transfer or combine multiple paper wallets. I'll show you how to create a secure USB Bitcoin wallet. And I'll show you how to create wallets and paper wallets using Armory. So be sure to check out those videos if you're interested in any of those things. Now I cannot stress enough how important security is in this whole process to keep our Bitcoin safe. So this may not be the absolute quickest way to create a Bitcoin paper wallet, but it's by far one of the safest ways. And, and that's really important is that we do this safely and securely because we don't want anything to happen to our money. So a paper wallet is very simple. It only consists of two things. It's a Bitcoin address with a matching private key. So the Bitcoin address is only used to deposit money into the wallet, to fund the wallet. The private key is only used to withdraw the funds from the wallet and access the funds. Why would you create a paper wallet? Keeping a piece of paper safe is much easier than keeping your computer secure. So because you can securely store your Bitcoins offline in a paper wallet, this puts you in 100% control of your money. So let's get started. Let's create our Bitcoin paper wallet together. The first thing we want to do is head over to bitaddress.org. Bitaddress.org is a trusted, open source, Bitcoin wallet generator. Please take note of the HTTPS with the green lock. This means that it's a secure connection. If you don't see that green lock, you can also try raw.github.com. This address right here, I'll provide these links in the video description. Either one is fine. Uh, once you get to bitaddress.org, right click anywhere in the page, click save as. We want to save this page bitaddress.org.htm we're going to save it to our desktop click on save let's minimize this for now here's the file that we just saved you should have something similar bitaddress.org.htm now we're going to disconnect our computer from the internet so that if there are any viruses or anything on our computer they're not going to have internet access and we're going to be disconnected from the internet in a secure environment so let's Go ahead and disconnect your computer by unplugging the cable from the back or turning the switch on your laptop from on to off or we can click on the little internet icon open network and sharing center change adapter settings right click on local area connection or wireless adapter and click on disable and that will disconnect us from the internet. Now that we're disconnected from the internet, we're going to double click on this file here. And that's going to open up bitaddress.org in a web browser. We're not on the internet. And what we're doing is we're going to generate a Bitcoin wallet and we're going to use our mouse to generate randomness. And you can see that this code is changing and we're just going to wait until it runs out of characters. And here is our wallet generator. Now, we could just generate a single wallet here, generate new address, and we could just generate a single wallet, but there's no encryption on this wallet. So let's click on paper wallet, and we're going to hide the art. We're going to just create one Bitcoin wallet, but we're going to encrypt this Bitcoin paper wallet. So we're going to check that box, and because we're encrypting it, we're going to add a passphrase. So we'll add a passphrase to our wallet. We can change this back to one. Make sure that's at one. Make sure addresses per page is at one. We're just creating one uh, Bitcoin wallet. Click on generate. That's going to generate the wallet for us. And here it is. This is our Bitcoin paper wallet. Here's our Bitcoin address. And here's our encrypted Bitcoin private key. Now, this is what we're going to print. We're going to print this paper wallet. Maybe we'll print a couple copies of it. Make sure you print it. Make sure you write down your passphrase because if you lose your passphrase, you're going to lose all of the money in your wallet and there, you'll never be able to get it back. 
So after you print at least two copies, I'd say, of your Bitcoin paper wallet, this information here, and you write down your passphrase, we're going to clear our browser cookies and cache. If you're not sure how to delete your internet browsing history and your cookies and cache, go ahead and click on one of these links here. That'll show you how to clear your cookies and cache in Internet Explorer, Firefox, and Google Chrome. But if you know how to do that, go ahead and clear your cookies and cache. Now we're going to restart our computer and then reconnect to the Internet. So we've printed our paper wallets. We have all of our information uh, printed so and written down. So let's go ahead and restart our computer. Okay, so we've restarted our computer. I've reconnected to the internet. I've already deleted all the cookies and cache and browsing history in my browser, so I'm safe there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to deposit $1 into my Bitcoin paper wallet. Now, you could do this a number of different ways. Anyone could do it with your public Bitcoin address, but I'm going to use Multibit to do it. I just have a Multibit um, wallet. I like Multibit. Multibit is a free program. It can be downloaded from multibit.org. It's an open source wallet and you can password protect this wallet. And you're encouraged to have multiple wallets. So it's okay to have a Multibit wallet, a Coinbase wallet, a Armory wallet, you know. So I'm going to use Multibit to do this. And I'm going to send $1 to my paper wallet. And so we're going to take our Bitcoin address on our paper wallet. I'm going to copy that. And here is Multibit. And so Multibit's still connecting. I think I need to maybe exit and restart Multibit. Okay, so here is my Multibit wallet. I'm online right now. I have $64 in my Multibit wallet. And I'm going to send $1 to my paper wallet address. So here's my paper wallet address. I'm going to copy this address and I'm going to paste it or type it in right here and then I'm going to give it a label just a one dollar transfer to paper wallet I'm only going to transfer one dollar and I'm going to click on send and I'm going to type in my wallet password because I have one on my multi-bit wallet click on send um, it's probably going to be seen by a few more but it'll take a few minutes for it to arrive in my Bitcoin paper wallet. So I'm going to wait 10 minutes and then I'm going to check to see that the funds are in the paper wallet. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Okay, so it's only been about five minutes and I'm now ready to check the funds of my paper wallet. So we're going to take our public address which was this address here on our paper wallet. We're going to copy that address or we're going to type it into this search field on blockchain.info. And we click on search and that will tell us how many transactions that address has received and how much that address has received. So you can see that my paper wallet has received one transaction and that one transaction had this much Bitcoin in it, and so the final balance of my paper wallet is 0 0.00763652 Bitcoins. So that's great. That's how I check how much money is in my paper wallet. Now, let's send the money from our paper wallet. Let's get it out of there. Let's send it back to the multi-bit wallet. So to do that, we're essentially going to import the private key. So blockchain.info allows you to check public addresses, which is what we're doing right here. They also allow you to import private keys so that we can recover the funds. So we'll go to blockchain.info. We'll click on wallet up here at the top. I've already created an account, so I'll just log in. You would click on start a new wallet. So I'll log in, put in my password, and now I can import and export the Bitcoin from that paper wallet. So click on I understand. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this encrypted private key, copy, or you're going to be typing this in 
to the import private key text box, paste. We're going to add that private key. We're going to enter our passphrase. If you remember, we had a passphrase for our wallet, our paper wallet. So if somebody had the private key, they still wouldn't be able to spend the money. So we'll, we'll enter in our passphrase. We'll click on continue. And we'll see a little notification over here on the right hand side that will tell us that it's been imported there. It's added the address while it's successfully synced with server. So I've now imported, I don't know if you caught that, but the balance has gone up over here. So I've imported the money from the paper wallet now into my other wallet here on blockchain.info. And that's how I got the money off of the paper wallet. So I put the money on and then I took the money off. Now the money's here on blockchain.info in this wallet. So now I'm going to send it from this wallet. I'm going to send it back to my multi-bit wallet. Send money. And I'm going to send this entire balance. Copy. And I'm going to paste that here. And two, the Bitcoin address is going to be to my multi-bit wallet. So I'm going to request that somebody send me money. So I click on request and I can just click on new. I want to create a new address for this transaction. You always should create a new address for every transaction you do. Okay, so here's that new address that I just created. I'm going to copy that address and I'm going to paste it right here because I'm going to send the money to that address and I'm going to send this much money and I'm going to just send it right back to my multi bit. So insufficient funds this transaction cannot be sent because there are not enough funds and this may be due to additional miners fees so required is basically what it's saying here is that to send money out of blockchain we need to pay a small fee it's a couple cents it's i think two cents three cents and so we can click on a just amount to subtract a couple cents from our amount and that now has sent from my blockchain wallet to my multi-bit wallet. So that's how you would create a secure do-it-yourself Bitcoin paper wallet. That's how you could send money to the wallet. We went over how to check the balance of that Bitcoin paper wallet using blockchain.info and the paper wallet's public Bitcoin address. We also went over how to extract the money from the paper wallet into our blockchain.info wallet using the private key and entering the passphrase and then once the money arrived into our blockchain.info wallet I then sent it again to my multi-bit wallet so kind of an extra step there but something that you probably would be doing so like I said I really hope you enjoyed the video um, if you did like the video, subscribe to my channel. If you have a question, leave a comment. Um, yeah, just thank you so much for watching. The goal really was to kind of teach you how to make a paper wallet, but how to do it securely. And I really hope that this saves you from making a mistake or from losing any money or getting hacked. So once again, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.